Hey YouTubers, check it out. I'm employed. Well, not really, <laughs> cause um, I'm just fiction doing a really small job on my car here, cause my dad said he'd pay me two bucks if I did it. And it's pretty much just taking the terminals off the battery and cleaning them. But you know, like, oh, how'd that happen? Cause you're so interested. Well. I'll tell you, um, on Saturday, a couple of days ago, I, uh, I was ready to get snow, ready to go snowboarding, my last day of my last season, pretty fun, here, check out this clip. That was awesome, don't you think? Right the part, right at the part where my daddy was filming, went up with the camera, actually popped up and like did this awesome 720 spin and like like did a indie and everything, all these grabs. It was crazy, and I actually landed it. Um, that that was actually the same trick I was trying to do when uh, I broke my wrist. So you you know it's intense. All right, anyway, uh, when we got in the car. Um, tried to start it and wouldn't start. There was no power. So, went through a few options, you know. We, we got it going eventually by jumping it with, uh, not the bus, but my other car. My other Saturn, I don't know, I had it, but you can't see it, but I jumped it with it and, uh, it started. So it's like, why was there no power? And perfectly fine. It's windy. It ran perfectly fine, uh, yesterday. I want the battery just died in the night. So, I jumped it, it charged fine. Well, it didn't charge because it wasn't dead. But I found out um, later today when he, when he was coming home from work and started it, it had an issue. So, he knew immediately that it was the connection between batteries. I don't, I don't have proof on this yet. I don't, I don't know exactly. So, I'm doing this work. I just have to take the two battery terminals off, clean them. I got a little wire brush here. Cleaning to clean them. And that's about it. So, it's a real quick job. So, I haven't made a YouTube video in a while. I thought I'd videotape it for you guys in full HD. And see how it went. So, I'll take it off for you. Take them off. I don't know how this is going to go with one hand. I don't know how Dave does it. So there's positive, neg negative, negative. We're gonna put the light. That works. All right. <laughs> this wire brush is pretty much dead. Already three minutes. Holy crap! All right. I got my auto adjusting crescent lights. From, made from Black and Decker. I got from Chris for Christmas. I don't know. It's kind of big, so I don't know if I can get in there. Wrong button. Oh man, these are kind of small. I don't know if this will work. It doesn't really work too well with smaller ones. Yeah, alright. I'm ditching that. Next best thing. A little a ratchet wrench thingy. Oh, you put that on. Hopefully it's the right size. And got to set it to the right way. 
Alright, let's take this bad boy off. Alright, let's see this battery cable. Oh, it's got two little prongy things to hook into the lead, I guess. I don't know. Oh, it looks kind of clean. Well, I guess I'll wire brush it. I'll wire brush this bolt, too. If I can take it out. No, I don't think I can. It's stuck in there. Well, that sucks. Good thing I have my small wire brush out so I wouldn't be able to get in there, even though it's kind of dead. Scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. I didn't even have any lubricant or grease, or like con con conducting grease. I would say I would have used that. That would have been better. But I didn't have anything. I'm running out of that. And maybe I just used all of my dad's up. Ugh, come on. It's actually really clean. I like this system on uh, how the battery cables bolt onto the side of the battery. It's a way better system. And keep I can see there's like a rubber seal around. Now dirt gets in there, so I don't know. Maybe it is an issue, maybe it's not. Well, maybe it's the one going to the fuse box. I might as well do that too. Oh, spark. <laughs> I'll just hook that back on there. Now for the negative. Maybe this will be really dirty. Alright, now you can't see anything. I'll go from the other side. Alright. There we go. That's done now. I'm just going to do the positive connected to the fuse box. You never know. I'll it actually looks really clean, but you never know. I'll grab my other sizes of... Does that fit? Nope. That one doesn't fit either. There we go. <clears throat> Come on. I know it's this way. Come on, you... Pretty bad job on this one. I can't get in there. <clears throat> nice and tight. Alright. Now let's start this beast up. Always take all your tools off the engine when working on them. that in the cup holder keys oh yeah look at that standard only way to go automatic push bags <laughs> now <laughs> we got power You know what, Dave's has this little red line for a good time. <laughs> Whoa. This car probably wouldn't make it up there. I'd blow the engine. Alright, let's go check out the engine. See how it's doing. Shut it down. That's all we need. Put it in first gear. And got all my tools. Alright, let's go. Well, I secured the two bucks. So now I gotta go edit this video on my laptop. <laughs>